the day after inauguration, uh, you get a phone call and it's Edward Snowden saying, all right, I'm ready to come back. What are you going to do? You know, I think justice is about making punishment proportional to the crime. And uh, I think his intentions were to reveal something that he felt like the people in government were lying about. And it turns out they were lying. Uh, the director of national intelligence committed perjury in front of the Senate committee. Um, my understanding is it's about a five-year sentence, but instead of getting any kind of sentence, instead of getting a slap on the wrist, or instead of even being fired, he's been rewarded and he's still in charge of intelligence. And I think he's done a great deal to damage trust. On the other side of the coin, can you let people who have sensitive data just make the decision to reveal it to the world? I think you have to have laws against that. So I think there have to be laws against what Snowden did. Did he do it for a higher purpose? Does he have a high moral ground? All of that I think history will judge. But I've sort of tongue in cheek said that if I had the choice, I'd put Clapper and Snowden in the same jail cell for about the same period of time. Now that's not a serious question, but I think it would be an interesting debate they might have about you know liberty versus security. I guess the question is, would you have to put a microphone in there and, and wire it straight up to the NSA? No, but they probably could have a reality uh, jail <laughs> cell show, and it'd probably be you know bestseller. No, I think that um, there has to be some punishment, and what that is. But I think the other side's been crazy over the top. That people say they want to shoot Snowden or they want to hang him, or that uh, you know, I think that. One of the things that we've tried to promote is a reform that would make things different. Snowden has said he would have tried official channels to reveal this to someone officially, but that the whistleblower statute doesn't apply to contractors. So I actually have an amendment that would try to make that so. So if you're a contractor doing business with the intelligence agency and you find that they're breaking the law, and interestingly, the courts have now said the NSA is breaking the law. It's my other pet peeve with the president on this whole thing. The president says, oh, well, you know, he accuses me of getting in the way of performance. Like, you could have stopped the program anytime you wanted. You did it through executive order, and you're doing it through executive action. We never told you to do this program. In fact, even the authors of the Patriot Act say they never intended to give you this power, and yet you won't stop it until we actually affirmatively tell you to stop it. So I think the president's not uh, quite uh, sincere, you know, in wanting real reform.